For more than two weeks now, firefighters have battled one of the greatest fires to ever break out on Mount Kenya, Africa's second highest peak and one of the country's main sources of water. Thousands of acres of moorland were destroyed and in a few weeks the rainy season will begin and conservationists say the country is at risk of flash floods and water shortage. Mercy uh, Juma reports from Mount Kenya. What was just a few weeks ago an enchanting, green, leafy paradise with thousands of acres of grass and exotic plantation is an ISO today. Last February, at least 15 different fires have ravaged a huge chunk of the National Reserve and the moorland on this mountain. But the crisis isn't over yet. As I was heading to the burnt areas of the mountain, we spot another fire. This time, a Kenya Wildlife Service warden tells me it is a fresh fire. In just under two weeks, the once lush moorland of Mount Kenya has been reduced to this, a charred, unattractive bare space. Conservationists say it may take a few weeks for the burnt grass to grow back, but it will take decades for the indigenous plantation to be restored. This is how healthy moorland looks like, thick and spongy. Kenya's Wildlife Service estimates that 80,000 acres of this vegetation has been burned. This mountain is at the heart of Kenya's economy and livelihood, an important tourism site that boasts a wide range of wildlife. Mount Kenya's forest is also one of Kenya's most important sources of water, meeting almost 50% of the country's needs for fresh water. <laughs> I get my water from the forest. We all do. Without water, we'll have a lot of problems because there'll be no food, nothing to educate the children with. Even the cattle will lack water. This forest benefits me. This region is one of Kenya's bread baskets, so its future will impact the whole country. As they migrate, they also increase the chances of human wildlife conflict. Because now they are going to suffer. Much of the moorland and forests of Mount Kenya have been destroyed, and conservationists now fear more trouble lies ahead. So when it rains, we expect flash floods, because there is no vegetation that will reduce the speed of water or hold that water to streams that will have been used as catchment sites. Water will be scarce in those areas such as Mwingi all the way to Nairobi. While wildfires are common here, Wildlife officers say these recent fires were caused by humans. Very many people use the mountain. Like we have people who have intakes, so they abstract what they use plastic pipes. So whenever their pipes are broken, they'll come and repair and they'll use fire to join the pipes. And uh, we have illegal cultivation of marijuana inside the protected area. So for them to clear the fields that uh, they are going to plant marijuana, they use fires. While coming down the mountain, we saw some men being arrested. They had just come from harvesting honey deep inside the forest. It's a cautionary move. Smoking the bees from their hives has the potential to start another blaze, threatening this vast source of life and water. Masijuma, BBC News, Mount Kenya.